Well, good morning. I thought I was going to be okay, but my lens keeps getting fogged up in our camera. <laughs> but it's okay. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is June 28th, 4th of July is just around the corner. Time is going so quick. God is so good, so faithful, and he carries us day by day. You've tuned in to Matt and Randy in the morning. We are here to encourage you in the words so that you can be strong in the faith and live victoriously in Christ. Uh, yesterday we were in 2 Thessalonians 2. Today we're going to be in Colossians. So if you flip your Bible to Colossians, that's where we're going to be this morning. Thinking about walking in the Spirit. Um, I guess it's mostly talking to those who have accepted Jesus Christ to be Lord and Savior of their life. To believers in Christ. Uh, we can walk in victory. Andrew Murray made this statement. He says, A man must be fully convicted of the wrongness of the carnal state and the possibility and blessedness of the spiritual state. As a child of God, you've got to realize that this flesh, it wants to do wrong things. But the Spirit of God within us gives us the possibility to overcome anything this flesh may want to do. It may stir itself up. It may want to tempt you with stuff, but you can say no because the power of the Holy Spirit that dwells in the believer. Another statement he made is this. He says, nothing can take us back when the Holy Spirit gets entire possession of our inner life. You know, it's about walking in the Spirit. <laughs> Realizing that the flesh ends up in judgment. It'll end up in hell if it wasn't because of what Jesus did on Calvary. So I want us to just keep that in mind. That yes, the flesh might stir up sometimes. But you can overcome the flesh because of Christ in you. This is what it says in Colossians 1, 21 through 23. It says, And you who once were ailing the... I feel like we need to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I ask that your Holy Spirit be able to stir our hearts and minds. May we have understanding of what your word is trying to tell us today, Lord. May we walk in your ways, find joy in the things that you find joy in, Lord. Oh, may we realize how much you love us, how much you care for us, and how much of a victory we have in Christ. Nothing in this world can separate us from you, from your love, Lord. And we thank you for that. May we have mercy and grace on others just as you have on us. In Jesus' name, have your way, Holy Spirit. Amen. So verse 21 of Colossians 1 says, And you once were alienated and enemies in your mind by the wicked works, yet now he has reconciled, meaning Jesus, has reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. Hallelujah. If indeed you continue in the faith, grounded, steadfast, and are not moved away by the hope of the gospel which you heard, which was preached to every creature under heaven, of which Paul, which I, Paul, became a minister. You know, in that part there it says, which was preached to every creature under heaven. You know, in Romans it talks about the heavens declare the glory of God. I mean, it is in us that that wanting something the problem is that some submit to the flesh and want the love of self more than the love of God here it's talking about Jesus paid the price for us to be reconciled to God Almighty 
The price has been paid. The debt has been paid for our sins. If we just accept it. And like Andrew Murray said, you know, that we have to be convicted of the wrongness. But yet, nothing can take us back when the Holy Spirit has entire possession of our inner life. If we allow the Spirit of God to work in us, you can walk in victory over this flesh. You know, I've said so many times, use those neck muscles. You know, if something is tempting you to look, if you catch out of the corner of your eye a pretty lady walking by or a cute guy walk by, don't take that second look. Use your mu muscles and nope, I am not going to go that route. Lord, I thank you for the victory that I have in Jesus Christ. I thank you that my old self would have looked, but I'm not. I'm going to look to you, Lord. I am going to honor you with everything that I have. goes on and says in uh, verses 25 of Colossians. And I'm going to skip to the second part of it. It says, to fulfill the word of God. Well, I guess we'll start it. Of which I became a minister according to the stewardship from God, which was given to me for you. To do what? To fulfill the word of God, the mystery which has been hidden from the ages and from generations, but now has been revealed to his saints. To them God willed to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you. What a mystery. You know, to, to realize God Almighty dwelling in me creator of heaven and earth chooses to dwell with us his holy spirit in us that is christ in you the hope of glory him we preach warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in christ jesus it is because of that we do this morning devotion. It's to remind you that in Christ, you are victorious. You're not a victim. You are the victorious one because of Christ in you, the hope of glory, because of the Spirit of God that dwells in us. We are overcomers. We are winners in Christ. We just have to walk in him allow the holy spirit to have its way in us say no to this flesh but say yes to the spirit of god say yes to the word of god colossians 2 6 through 10 is where i'm going to end it says this as ye therefore have received jesus christ the lord so walk in him rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. Stick to the faith. Be thankful. Tell the Lord, thank you for your Holy Spirit that dwells within me. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the hunger for the word. Thank you for allowing me to tune in to this morning devotion, to be reminded of your love for me. There's so much we can be thankful for. It says, Beware, lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit, according to the traditions of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. You know, it's telling us, be careful of the junk that's out there. All these, oh, make you wise, all these smart new ideas and things that we know. Stick to the word of God. That is sure. God is God and it all ends with God. It all will end with every knee bowing down to God Almighty, not to bowing down to the greatest new idea that this world has. Every knee will bow down to God one day. Some rejoicing knowing that they will enter in to the heavens that God has prepared for us. Others had bows weeping knowing they will go to separation with God, to torment, horribleness for eternity. The choice is ours. The price has been prayed through Jesus Christ for all of us to be able to be reconciled to God Almighty. 
it goes on and says, For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him, who is the head of all principality and power. You are complete in Christ. You need nothing that this world has to offer to fulfill your life when you have Jesus Christ, when you realize who you are in Christ. Nothing in this world can compare to the love of God, the peace of God that comes into a believer's life that allows the Holy Spirit to dwell and rule in their inner being. So keep a praise song in your heart. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. We'll see you tomorrow morning.